Okay, here we go. There you go. Alright. Timer has begun. Said, so, yeah, that little trap thing they did game two was funny. Yeah, that trap was pretty nice. Okay. So now we are on to the finals. Let me go ahead and change the stream title to... Finals. There we go. So we have... Rescue Ace and Rescue Ace. DB Grinders show list now. Nah, I can't. I can't. The finals is heat. I'm literally i I'm literally testing this deck right after this tournament, so this is like perfect. I can like literally got like a notepad. I I got notes I can take. Go ahead, Rota, search airlifter, no droll. Okay, Rescue Ace can definitely break the mirror matches end board. We saw it a lot. We saw uh, Lucas Sacco, Sacco play versus GG Gibriel XD on my channel, and that was a very good mirror match. Not gonna lie, very good mirror. But okay, summon out Airlifter, Airlifter goes search. If they're thinking this long, they probably have... A way to turbulence, yeah. They're gonna go ahead, grab rescue. And then activate wanted to go search. Grabs rescue. Maybe we already have turbulence and we're about to send it off this black witch. Otherwise it would have been like alert, right? Or it would have been emergency. Would have been like anything before that. So. Okay, go ahead. You can summon Black Witch, they have Wanted Draw. They said Thinking. I already know the line. I don't even know your hand, I already know. I am just him. Summon Black Witch. Send from hand. Okay, I lied. It would have been sick though, it would have been sick though if they discarded Turbulence. Okay, they're thinking on that. It, it's not a bad thing to interrupt. Because like, Wanted won't be able to get its draw then. Yeah, imperm that. Okay. So, do we have... I mean, we have emergency. For sure. So, emergency you can go summon and send. Lifter to one is just a fever dream. Yeah, I mean, air lifter to one doesn't actually, like, hurt the deck. Like, at all, really. It hurts it a little bit, consistency-wise, but... It's not that bad of a hit. It's not like Shivara to one, where Shivara to one actually like changes the combos. But emergency goes summon and then send. So summon hydrant, send air lifter. Hydrant goes search. That's fine. All right, grabs out turbulence. So summon number three so far. They could make like. SP and then summon turb, but it's probably it's probably just summon turb. I wish I could see their hand, but also if I could see their hand, then I wouldn't be able to stream it. I mean, to be honest, I could see their hand. I could just, I mean, I'm not going to, but I could just click, uh, yeah, I could just click the thing. I don't know why it actually had it there, but... Good thing I didn't press refresh, otherwise it actually would have shown the hands. So, thank god that was not there. Thank goodness. Turbulence goes up. Set extinguish, contain, alert, emergency. Uh, can you do it though? It's better to see it as a spectator. No, 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 Because no. then, guess what? You know who else is a spectator? Both these players are watching right now. They, they like have to watch for the timer. So if I show their hands, that wouldn't work out very well. I would not be able to do that. Especially not with like $100 on the line. Well, $90 plus 30 day DB dono code. Ha had the shout out, had to, had to do a DB dono code at least a little bit. Gotta support dueling book, baby. I've actually gotta be, I have to be one of the top supporters for DB at this point. There's no shot. I'm not, I like, I'm talking, like, money-wise. I have to be one of the top. If there, if there's, if there's, like, 
20 people that are higher up than me, I don't know what they're spending the money on. Well, I guess dueling book e-girls, something like that. I don't know, just every tournament I try to at least take like, like if, I, if it says a $50 DB tournament, usually it's actually $45 cash and then $5 goes to DB, but then I take the dono code and give it to the player. I do that so that way, um, you know, DB gets some bread. You know, they do give us the platform to play on and also I appreciate DB a lot. And it gives them bread, so there's no excuses, but uh, they like to grind. Is that DBE girls? Yeah. Well, I mean, is that, that's crazy. But they're gonna go ahead, princess summon back out, preventer. And then go ahead, link off to make whale. But no, there's definitely DBE girls, 100%, without a doubt. Without a doubt. But they got Whale, Princess, Preventer, Trap Cards. They're gonna go Wanted, grab Black Witch. Okay, even if they didn't have access to that, maybe they could have Dark Charmed into it at some point. Activate Prosperity. Okay, so now it's like infinitely harder to obtain game, which is always good for the opponent. It's always going to be infinitely harder after Prosperity is used. Said, I'm dead, bro. I mean, I don't talk to DBE girls. No, no, no. I don't. I would never talk to any Yu Gi Oh! female ever. I would rather just play the card game, and that's all. I don't want anything to do with no Yu-Gi-Oh females ever at any point in time. Not now, not a year from now, not 10 years from now, not 30, well maybe 30 years from now because then it wouldn't matter, but yeah. I bet I know your name. My name do, my name do be public. <laughs> You're the only DBE girl we need. Oh, true, true, true. I'm a DBE girl. Look at my stream. I got it in the tags. But I'm literally a VTuber E girl, Capybara Yu Gi Oh! duelist that knows English. Honestly, the biggest lie out of all that is English. That, honestly, that's, that's the biggest lie out of all that is the English one. Unless she looks like IP Mascarena. So, Chad. True. Nah, 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 I don't know. There's just like, there's just no need. There's just no need. Okay, so they're making Guru. I was gonna say, yeah, they got rid of those. It's like, can't make Mud Dragon with those. Duelist is questionable too. Bog. <laughs> uh, what tier Virtual World would be next format? I have no idea. I have no idea. I haven't thought about the deck too much in the next format. I still have to learn the other decks before. I can't even like build a tier list until I've like truly tested all the decks. I've got through the Fire King deck. That deck was deep. That deck was deep. I got through the Silent Force Voiceless deck. Now I have Rescue Ace and then Snake Eye. That's what's on the agenda so far. He had the Super Polyon Resolution in order to dodge Droll. Yep. But I don't think they wanted to Super Poly. Right there. Maybe. Maybe they didn't want to Super Poly there. But then once they got hit with Droll, it was like, okay, now we have to Super Poly. Even the Cappy is real. Cappy Borrow e girl. How many Fire King were in top cut? Uh, this wasn't like a top cut tournament. This was um, this was just all single elimination throughout. I think the next tournament I host, I might do Swiss in the top cut. I think that's how I'll do the next tournament just to see how that one goes. Cause I'm actually interested on how smooth it'll run. Okay, go ahead, summon Preventer. And then... I mean, they have... 
Rescue that can summon back out. Preventer is a Book of Moon. They have Princess. They have the Trap Cards. They have Emergency, which can summon Hydrant. So they're gonna go extinguish, target preventer, any response. Well, obviously they don't have a response, but chain link to next tourney tomorrow, question uh, mark. I have no idea when the next tourney is gonna be, but make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum Discord. If you wanna go ahead and join any future tournaments or Ironmans or money matches, we got all that there. Oh, God, yes. Can you do loser brackets in DB tourneys? Uh, probably not. Probably not. I don't think Yu-Gi-Oh! has, like, ever done loser bracket for anything. So I doubt they would have added a theory. But maybe. I don't know. I don't think I've ever hosted a Swiss tournament on DB. I've hosted a Swiss tournament through, like... Like, I mean, I've done it on DB, but I've done it with other things. Like, hosted it through other things. But now, I have judge status on DB, so I can host on DB whenever I want to. But also, whenever you host tournaments like this, you get purple status anyways. That's the tournament organizer status. Uh, you can do double elim if you have brackets somewhere else, like challenge. Yeah, but I don't like how they have the stuff set up, because they don't have the right tiebreakers. They do, I forget what the tiebreaker system is, but they don't have the right one. I know you can change it and stuff, but I don't even know how to do that on there. Yeah, they're just gonna go ahead and scoop up game one. Okay, on to the next one. Like, that was a problem with uh, the Worlds tourney that I hosted, because I hosted it on the challenge, but I didn't realize I didn't have the right tiebreakers set up, so the tiebreakers weren't set up the way that Konami does them. They were set up, I guess, just, like, normal. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. Hi. Hello. Wow. I literally just missed. With like half that water. Standard to be honest though. But okay. On to the next game. We are going to see Rescue Ace go first and Rescue Ace go second. I know more about Challenge than most people since I made a Discord about the interacts with it. I kind of hate it. But it does work most of the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I've been, I've just been using DB recently to host the tourneys. I don't know how it's gonna go with the Swiss one, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Hopefully it goes well. I think it will. It can't go that bad, right? Like, I, worst case scenario, like the tiebreakers are just horrible on DB, and then like, you know, that's it, and then just the one tournament has bad tiebreakers, but. Oh, yeah, using DB directly is way easier. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. But the challenge isn't hard at all. Like, I hosted the World's Tourney. The World's Tourney, I was grind- Like, I was a true tournament grinder that entire day when I did that. It was, like, 12 hours straight. I was the judge. I was the tournament organizer. I was the guy who was, like, entering people's win-losses. It was actually really easy, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I see- some of these places have like a team of like five people running the tourneys, but like you could, you could, you know, with a, if you had like a commentating team of two people, you could definitely have like one judge and one tournament organizer and run it smooth. Maybe a tournament organizer who's also a judge. Just because a lot of the time you don't really have to do a lot of work as the tournament organizer, you just have to wait, you know, like once the round goes up, you just have to wait until people start losing to put stuff in. Uh, been sick for five days mid Christmas watching DBG replays. I was gonna say oh god yes, but oh god yes besides the sick part. Sick being sick sucks for sure. For sure. Being sick as a kid used to be cool, because then you wouldn't have to go to school and you could like play video games. But being sick as an adult, it's like, oh. That's just unfortunate. Oh, ha, 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 that's why I wrote the bot, removes the entire entering losses thing, so it's way smoother. Yeah, that's fair. I, that tournament that I hosted, though, I did it incorrectly, because I had it a free entry tournament, when it should have been a pay-to-enter tournament, because a lot of people didn't show up the first round, 
so then I had to like kick them out but then there were even people who had like it'd be like a full no show round one. Oh, that was so tough that was so tough I never even like had thought of that a double no show round one but they're gonna go hydrant in the airlifter but the world's tournament next year will be so much smoother guaranteed guaranteed and i'm gonna look for sponsors for it way before it happens last time i literally looked for sponsors like three days before it happened i was like but please please i will shout you out infinite times and they were like but but this time i'm gonna have it set up way smoother i'm probably gonna have multiple world's tournaments go on this year so that we can help the usa players win again god yes I work in a TCG shop. I'm paid to sell Yu-Gi-Oh and organize locals. So I'd rather be at work 10,000% or 100,000%. Yeah. It's kind of cool, like, working in a card shop. Personally, I wouldn't like it. But I know a lot of people who do work in card shops that really enjoy their job. I mean, if you can enjoy everything you do about your job, you know, it doesn't feel like work. But alert, go ahead, search out turbulence. Um, I'm trying to think here how you would play around Nib the best. Because, like, SP is not bad. SP is not bad. I mean, if they have emergency in hand, then this beats it anyways. But go ahead, summon. Turbulence effect goes to, uh, alright, fair enough, goes through. Uh, working in a card shop seems cool. Uh, do we know which decks each player is on? Yeah, this is the finals. Uh, both players are playing Rescue Ace, which, there wasn't a whole lot of Rescue Ace in the tournament. There was only, like, maybe three people who played it. So, it's kind of crazy how they're both in the finals. Uh, I don't think I'd like working in a card shop. Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of my escape from my job, so I'd end up hating the game. I don't know. I, I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I wake up every single day. Shower, eat, Yu-Gi-Oh. Before I go to bed, Yu-Gi-Oh. I wake up out of my dream, Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh fiend. Even when I'm not recording, I'm still just Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu -Gi -Oh. I mean, I do, I do other things other than Yu-Gi-Oh, too, but... You know, I spend a lot of time playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Go ahead, Prosperity, look at the top six. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not like we really need engine at this point. I guess we could... Okay, I was thinking, like, if we do grab a card like Preventer, how would we use it? But then they just grab Ash. Okay. Fair enough. Ash is very good. Ash on emergency, broken. Oh, the challenge is to find balance, but you're right, you gotta separate the two sometimes. Bro, I've actually had dreams about building a Yu-Gi-Oh deck, and when I woke up, what I did make sense. Yeah, I, I actually literally woke up out of a dream one day, like, and had Pendulum FTK in my mind. I literally woke up, walked over to my computer, it was already turned on. Boom. DB, do 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 do, built the deck list, went back to bed, woke up, and I was like, I'm insane. I was like, I was cooking like crazy. I don't even know how I did it. It was literally like in my dream. I was like, I Tempest FTK'd somebody. I woke up and I was like, wait, you can for sure Tempest FTK people. And then I literally built the deck, and it was, I don't even, it was wild. I, it was like Hollow Hollow was the tuner that I used. So that way you could search it off uh, your pendulum stuff. Yeah, I think I think that was Electrum. I think Electrum might was still legal. No. Maybe? I actually don't even remember. I think so. That'd be that'd be like the only card I was searching that with, I think. I have no idea. It was a long time ago. That was like 2019. But I needed the idea like two days beforehand because I had the idea on like a Sunday and then the regional was Saturday, but that was the weekend that IP came out. And I think if I had that idea like two days before on the Friday before that I could have just took it to a regional and like easily won the regional with it. But then once IP came out, the deck 
struggled a little bit more because end boards became a lot better in Orcus. But disembodied voice begins to speak to me in my dreams. Play Beaver Warrior FTK. Nah, I, I, I have Yu-Gi-Oh dreams a lot. I mean, I don't remember all my dreams. But, I mean, probably had a Yu-Gi-Oh dream last night. Uh, it's so funny to know other people do the same shit in their dreams. We're just fiending on this game. Like it's heroin. True, just... Wah, bah, wah, bah. That's my Yu-Gi-Oh intake. So I see why the Link 4 is needed. Oh my god, wait, oh, okay, maybe they prosperity to away whale. Yeah, this card does lock you in the fires. Make Sunlight Wolf? Make Hita, that's tough. <laughs> that is tough, having to make Hita over whale. But at least they're learning. At least they're learning. But... I don't know, Chero might be able to put this board to rest. Activate Wanted, go search. Okay. I mean, the opponent does have Ash in hand. That's gonna be good. I've legit, I've legit daydreamed Rico combos. Back when, um, it was like 2018, back when, I think it was like Dark Hero was a thing where they were playing a sold in 60. Cause I saw what's his face play it in the European championships. And then afterwards I was thinking about it. And I was trying to cook up the deck before YCS Columbus, the 200th. And I literally was, I was cooking like crazy. I was cooking like crazy. I remember I was in math class and I was like, I literally pulled out a notebook and I'd start writing down combo. I was like, wait, 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 wait. I was like, Vion's one card FTK. And I started just going crazy. I was like, this is literally the Goki combo, but like you can, you can FTK and it's 60 and you only add like three bricks to the deck. So but then I didn't even get to go to that YCS because, yeah, that was actually, I had to skip that YCS because everybody I knew was going to that YCS, so I wasn't able to borrow cards. So then I just didn't go because I didn't have a deck. I was going to borrow the hero deck. That deck was sick, though. Deck was sick. Uh, but to be honest, it's a real discussion how addicted to this we are, and it's a trash game in terms of involvement by the publisher. Konami doesn't care about anything. Oh, 100%. I mean... Yeah, I mean, like, it's kind of crazy how, like, if I just switch to, like, any other card game, like, you can make a lot more money, like, very, very, very easily. The prizing in Yu-Gi-Oh! is so bad, and they could solve it, and they literally don't want to. We're literally carrying the game on our backs. Yeah. So, sold combo, shake my head. God, yes. Old combos. But... I don't know, like, it's whatever. I mean, overall, the prizing in Yu-Gi-Oh, absolutely horrible. They should just do what One Piece does. One Piece has it down, right? They, they, they built their game, like, almost perfectly when it comes to stuff like that. I think other games should definitely copy. But summon, send. Okay, they do have Princess still, though. Thinking about maybe princessing the. They still kept the trap, probably. Uh, how does One Piece prizing work? So, in Yu Gi Oh! Like, when you get to top cut, like the pro. Okay, okay. The One Piece. Let me just explain the One Piece prizing first. So, like, you get alternate art cards, or you get, like, different rarity cards. And that's the prizing. Like you just get you you get one piece cards just in different rarities. And you might be like, oh, that's horrible prizing. I'd rather have a Nintendo Switch. But like those alternate art and all and like different rarity cards are worth so much money because people want them. So like imagine if in Yu-Gi-Oh, top 32 you got a play mat, but they also gave you a playset of talents in prismatic secret rare or something like that and the only way you can get them is getting top 32 at a ycs for like a certain period of time and then top 16 let's say they had a different card top 8 they had a different card top 4 they had a different card stuff like that and you, you could also do meta cards those probably wouldn't be the best since they wouldn't last for a very long time but even then like people would still buy them for the time that they're out 
It's better than us giving like the prize cards nowadays are just like random normal monsters that no one even cares about. Uh, how do you get into these churnies? Yep, the Colosseum is how to play in the money matches, Iron Man's, and future tourneys. Uh, that'd be cool. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know, the present's good. One Piece is Gamba, though. Huh? Nah, One Piece is, is definitely a very skillful game. There was, I forget, but the one guy, didn't he win the big, I think it's like the Taiwan tournament? Taiwan? Yeah, the Taiwan tournament. I'm pretty sure he won it back to back. That's like a huge tourney. Cody Angeloff plays the game. It's definitely not like a luck based game. Uh, One Piece game is insane in terms of gameplay and collection. It works really well in our store. Yeah, I, I like One Piece a lot. Like the the game. I didn't, I'm not the best at it. I also haven't played it very much. Well, I played it, I tried it some a few months ago. But then like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to learn by yourself. I mean, I downloaded the game, like the online DB thing of it. But their DB is like way worse than our DB. Their DB is like, like actual, like, like bad. It's rough. You have to like download it through a Google Drive. Hey, shout out to the person who made it, but it's tough. It is rough. So let me calculate. Okay, they're trying to see if they should do something to that. I mean... Their next play could be Hida. Hida's a very good card. Uh, I tried Lurkana before. New TCGs don't feel right there. Too different from Yu-Gi-Oh. It ruts your brain for me. Yeah, I'm never going to try Lurkana, to be honest. That game is like... I don't know. That game's so troll. There's just no way I play that game. Like, imagine being like... Yeah, bro. I just cooked you, bro. I literally just summoned Mickey Mouse on you. What are you gonna do, dog? And then, and then they, and then they summon like Donald Duck, and you're like, Nah, bro. I just got sacked by Donald Duck. What am I gonna do? Like, there's, there's no way I can do that. There's no way. There's no shot. There's no shot. Normal summon Goofy effect. Yeah, there's, just, there's no shot I could do that. There's no shot. There's no shot. Is the Dragon Ball one still going? I feel like. Uh, Bandai has a tendency to drop entire games within like five periods. Uh, I think Dragon Ball is still going. I think so. I know like, I know PPG hosted the Dragon Ball Worlds not too long ago. Oh, the Kano is a really slow game to be honest. And it has a fantastic way to play online. Yeah, if I, I don't, also, I don't know anybody who even plays Lorcana, so that would also drive me away from playing it. But One Piece is sick, and I know a few people who play that game. Said, oh my stress. Yeah, all you gotta do is break this and end the game and win. I'm pretty sure they play Access Code. Pretty sure I saw them play that earlier. Oh, maybe it's banished though. No idea. Yeah, I have no idea what would be in their extra deck right now. Oh, uh, gotcha. I remember that being a concern some people have. I wasn't sure how real it was. Uh, Digimon and Dragon Ball have fan bases, but it's really tight. Who's your favorite One Piece character, by the way? Out of the cards you saw? Oh, out of the cards? I don't remember. Like, I literally, all I did is I went, Cody, I need a deck list. And he goes, okay, here's my deck list, and sends me a picture of it. Also, by the way, just getting the cards onto the game was so hard because there was alternate art ones. He had, like, the, the tournament winning ones, and I had to find the original ones. So that was hard. And, um, but yeah, that deck was, like, super hard to play. I forget even what it was. But... It was, like, ridiculously hard. He, he was like, yeah, this is definitely the best deck. You just have to play it pitch perfect. If you make any mistake, you'll lose. It was rough. 
It was rough. Especially for, like, being new. It's like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna lose. 100%. Which I'm fine with losing. Whenever you play a new game, you should be fine with losing. The whole point of playing is to get better and improve. It's like what Ninja said about Fortnite. You shouldn't be playing for the dubs. You should be playing to improve, and the dubs will just naturally come. No homo. And then... Okay, so they're gonna go ahead, set from the deck, and then they did go through Hita though, already, because they got hit with evenly, so they won't be able to Hita go ahead and take. They went through Princess already, so like, uh, I mean, they have Link Karibo, they're gonna go Original Snake Eye, go search, put back Populous, sure, go search for Hydrant, never mind, they don't have Hydrant in deck, okay, that's fair, that's fair. So two princess maybe? I feel like they would have banished it off prosperity if they did play two. But I mean, even just this is enough to win. Like already, this is almost just enough to win. Switch to attack. Like, you know, reset purple card. Beat over, they have Preventer, Book of Moon. Beat over, beat over. Just take 15 minutes to OTK. Nah, they're not OTKing. But is this game three? No, this is game two. Uh, Chero won game one. So it's looking like it's gonna go to game three. Uh, do you have any advice to get better at Yu-Gi-Oh thinking? Like getting better at decision making, reading the lines, also deck building. Uh, they said oh, I actually can't risk that as evenly. But it's too late. Oh. Whoa. Preventer already attacked. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are the odds that we have another evenly? What are the odds? But, I don't know, you just play a bunch, DB, DB helps with that, um, play a deck a bunch, that's another thing that you can do, that's one thing I need to get better at too, is sticking on one deck, and just like full committing to it, cause like, obviously, if you play one deck for a while, you become very good with it, compared to like, oh god, like Unchained at the last YCS I played at, bro, I literally switched to Unchained, like Thursday night. Like, Thursday night. It was whack. It's a damage step, right? But that deck was also not hard. The deck wasn't that hard. Uh, give me 10 euros. I'll show you how to cook. <laughs> so, who are you? <laughs> Triv times Manadium. Uh, I got literally three bucks on my account post-Christmas. Oh, God, yes. I didn't, I didn't spend a single dollar this Christmas. I, personally, I don't really celebrate Christmas. They're gonna go ahead, send special. Go ahead, link in the SP, SP effect, go banish. Okay, they will have want to draw though. And they'll have draw for turn though. It's pretty good, pretty good. I'm the best cook. He said, you burn in the basement. It's crazy. Uh, I guess we could go... Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and start with Wanted. I mean, they have Princess, Pomp 2. And then Pomp Preventer. Oh my gosh, they hit him with Droll also. Shouldn't they have chained SP to that to banish this? Maybe, maybe. Uh, give me one euro, and I'll give you a flight to America to get Jesse Cotton for help. Not a scam, trust. It's all- he doesn't even live in America. Well, I guess- Okay, I guess technically he lives in America. Like, North America. Well. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't even know. I know, like, technically, like, Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. are all North America, I'm pretty sure. Just doesn't even matter. 
America. Yeah. All my knowledge of concepts like card advantage and game state just zaps out of my head once an actual game starts, to be honest. Uh, Canada, whatever, all the same thing. Yeah, fair, fair. Like, the United States and Canada are literally just the exact same thing. Uh, DBG, really, one of the only likable Americans, to be honest. Hey, yo! Nah, 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 nah. As uh, honestly, as long as you're not Italian saying that, it's completely fine. I don't know, half the Italians are just so toxic. The other half are such cool people too. It's just flip-flop one or the other. Uh, what about LeBron James? True, how, how, how will this affect LeBron James' legacy? Okay. Wanted, Black Witch, wait. Did we just do that in the main phase? Or maybe we did that in draw phase and instantly clicked main phase. Okay, Sun Turbulence, special effect, go set. Do they have imperm? Game one, they impermed. You know, because they have wanted. Maybe they want to stop the draw. Uh, the Mudlong Dragon. Oh, I can't even see that. In the next set, seems sick. Uh, Canada is way inferior to the U.S. Eh? Eagle noise. I feel that one. I feel that one. Does Canada have 4th of July? Didn't think so. Didn't think so. Oh, it's your destiny, John Jones, your opponents. I don't even know what that is. Britannia for the Commonwealth. Long live the king. Woo! I don't even know what that is. Is that like a country? Okay, I will slow play while learning stun on DB. Okay, so they're gonna go ahead. Set the original sinful spoils. Activate. Send Black Witch. Go summon. Any response. Before we try to summon out Hydrant from deck. They said think. Okay. Yeah, it's like they might have Imperm. They could just be bluffing at the same time, though. There's also only, like, eight minutes left. So, like, that is tough. I'm not gonna lie. Eight minutes left is so rough. Because, like, are you gonna try to burn your opponent here? And if so, you're still gonna have to give your opponent somewhat of a turn. It would have been sick, though, if the opponent... Uh, honestly, honestly, I'm not that... You know, it could, they could still have a spooky dogwood. They wouldn't have dropped it yet. You know, you definitely can't chain it in response to this. Otherwise, they just summon, search, pass, lose half your life points, and then just pray you don't lose. Uh, channel my inner Italian. Said Britain, you Doyle. What does that even mean? What does any of that mean? What does Britain mean? What does Doyle mean? I'm British, what do you think of support on um, port imaginary Romanian because of Andrew Tate for real? Uh, Britain inferior to who won the war. Hey, true. All I'm saying is, I don't think America's ever lost a war. Yeah. Yeah. We're crazy. We're straight soldiers for real, for real. No cap. 100 G. You don't know Britain? No, I, I do know Britain. It's like the UK. Something like that. It's something over there. Honestly, nothing over there matters to my day-to-day -day life at all. Not a single bit of it matters to my day-to-day -day life at all. Said, who founded America? Well, well... Okay, last time I answered this, I got yelled at, because technically it wasn't Christopher Columbus, it was that Spongebob dude, the Happy LaFerrickson Day, ha na ha na ha, technically it was that guy, technically it was that guy, technically it was that guy. Uh, Mesotamia started slavery in 3500 BC, yeah, I, I don't... I don't, also, I didn't even know BC counted down until recently. I didn't even know that. I looked at, like, uh, when somebody lived, and it, it, like, it counted the other way. I was like, oh, I didn't even know that. 
But okay, they're gonna go ahead. Do that. Okay, they're thinking. Do they hand trap now? Do they not have a hand trap? Honestly, okay, there's five minutes left. Time will come into play. The game will not end before that, guaranteed. Uh, you were just asleep in class, huh? No, I just don't care. <laughs> the, I don't know. The, when you're in school, the point isn't to learn. The point is to absorb the information for one week, pass the test, and then absorb the new information, take the test, let it out. And it's just like a, a wash, rinse, repeat of that. I don't know. I, I, I don't like how school teaches things. I've learned a lot more since I've been outside of school. But it's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. You really got space in the head for Yu-Gi-Oh! and stocks, huh? Well, I mean, I do other things, but... I don't know. I mean, I guess, like, why would I care about what's going on, like, over in the UK? I'll probably never step foot in the UK. So, like, I don't know, does it matter, like, what their countries are called and stuff? Uh, real school isn't to learn. Thank you, DB Grinder. True. Wait, that's actually the smartest thing I've ever heard you say. <laughs> uh, I will not pay attention in school and brave when they ask why. I mean, okay, like, I graduated when I was 16 years old. I graduated early. I was the youngest graduate in the entire class. I'm crazy. I'm insane. I could have I could have been in college when I was 16, but then I ended up deciding to not do it, which I'm happy. Happy I decided to not do it. Um, I think your view on education is probably heavily shaped by the fact you had an American one. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I just think school is a waste of time. I think sending a kid to a school for eight hours, like, why would I go to school for eight hours and not get paid? That seems crazy. Let me hold 10 for getting this for... Ha! <laughs> So let me hold 10. <laughs> That's crazy. They full bricked. Nah, nah. What's the last card? What's the last card? You, you gotta show all five. You gotta show. You gotta show. You gotta show. You gotta show. Good games. No. Now I gotta ah. Uh, message me on cord. So you know the drill. He, he's been here before. He's been here before. All right, all right, all right. All right. What's that last card in hand? You can't hide it from us. It's Rhoda. Ah, it wasn't a full brick. I knew it. I knew the last card in hand was going to be a starter. But no, nah, I mean, that hand was obviously buns. That hand was obviously losing. Set. IT. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay. Now, I work for my school.